Hey everybody, my name is Mr. Penguin, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can code in Kodu and what each command on this score wheel does. If you don't know what commands are, well, should I say block codes, they're basically what makes your thing do this. Um, if you go to program, there's two sections, there's a when and a do, and we will be covering both for each. Like you can see here, they have different score wheels, but we're covering both. It's gonna be quite a long video. So we have gamepad and keyboard. This is basically your controls. I could say key, keypad A, and I can make it move using that. So these are basically controls. You can choose anything from keyboard, like E, I can make it create something. Um, Same with mouse, same thing as that. Except like when you except it can work with buttons. They're pretty useful if you want like a touch and click game. Moving on, we have C and here. Basically, when this sees something, if you go over to do, you can make it do something. But it's basically an infinite loop because it'll always be seeing it. Same with here. Um, you can turn down their hearing. It's hearing is like a more effective way of C because hearing isn't actually just an infinite loop. And then moving on, we have bumped. So when it collides with something, it does something. So like a bumped Kodu does something. Bumped is used quite a lot if you know anything about Kodu. End of path. Um, that's basically coding the scenario for an end of path. So like if it's in the path, it gets knocked out. Timer, this is basically a timer. I could do timer one second, and then you could do game, win. Moving on, we have got, busy when something is got, like if I got, for example, if I got knocked out, then I can make it do something. Pretty useful. Scored, this is really important if you want like a speech system. You're gonna be using score quite a lot for that. Moving on, we have the extras. So you have health. So if health is equal to five, let's say, go to the points, five, does something over here. And then, ah, oops. And then um, shot hit. So if you hit your shot, um, you could like give yourself some points. Held by, so like if it's being held by Kodu, you go faster. Um, if you're on land, if you're on the water, then it does this. If you're on a path, then it does that. And this is basically always. So it's like C, but really is infinite. All right, so we're done the first part. Moving on, view. What view does is it checks your camera angle. So you got follow, ignore, first person. It's really important. You can't really have a game without a good camera angle. Move. This is basically what it moves, and you can make it move quickly, forward, wander, slowly, on path. And then eat. This like gets rid of the object in front of you. It doesn't actually eat it, obviously. All right, and now this is a big one. Action is where most of this is going to be stored. Um, say makes it say something. Raise water raises the water, obviously. Um, lower water um speaks for itself. Set water. It's actually um, if you go to set water, you can see it sets how fast it can go up, how fast it goes down. Sets the water type. Um, create. This basically is a creatable. Um, launch, just launch your stuff, camouflage, camouflages you, uncamouflage, uncamouflages you, express, expresses your, like, puts, like, hearts around it, like, we could say express angry, and Kodu would be angry. Um, combat, so damage, damages you, heals you, stuns you, knocks you, squashes you, bo booms you, vanishes you. Um, vanish is probably the most important one out of those. Holding, so if you want to grab something or drop something. And and um game so next level reset end win score subtract and get score these are all pretty obvious next level such your next level resets resets the level and so on. All right. Oh yeah, and I also believe I forgot settings. Um, 
this is basically a quick way of getting to your settings menu. If you don't know, you can you can access it by going to change settings and left clicking. Rename, this renames the name of your bot. I don't really know how you use that, but it could be useful. Um, change size, this is basically another quick way of changing the size of something as I just demonstrated. And then there's change height. So like, like that, we can do that. Like, I, like you can see that Kovu hovers a bit above, but we can turn that down so that he doesn't. Okay, actually kind of cool. Then we have rotate. Like if you want it to spawn in this way, pretty useful. Uh, and then we have cut, cuts it out, copy. If you have like a bunch of bots and want to copy them, and now let's move on from the bot system to the path system. So what paths is, is it basically adds a path like this and you can make a bot follow this path. So if you want it to like follow a specific path in a racing game, that's how you do it. Um, this actually adds ground, very, very important. I don't know how you would add a game. Um, um, if you right click, it gets rid of it. And um, we have create hills. This, this makes the hill smooth. This makes it spiky. Um, this makes their water, but we don't want that. Um, this actually clears stuff. So, um, like if we, we could clear Kodu over here. And this is the world setting. So if you want your character to be able to um, go off, you can do glass walls. I don't, um, so yeah, if you want to go off your world, just click on glass walls, camera mode. I'm um, like, is it anchored to something? What angle is it? Starting camera, where the camera starts, showing the resource meter, enable the resource limiting, wave height, how high you want to be your waves, water strength, how strong is your water? Um, you can change the skies, you can see here. I'm just going to leave it at blue. Lighting day, you can change the lighting of the actual course. Like that. Minimum breeze, how much breeze is there, and then max breeze. Obviously, the max breeze can't go lower than the minimum breeze. Um, This starts the game with whatever you want. For example, if you wanted to start it with a world title, we could do that, or a world description, a countdown. Um, like, as you can see, if you're to run the game right now, <laughs> that would happen. Um, debugging, I think that's pretty obvious. Like, it just debugs your code, see what the problem is. Effects, how high is your volume, how high is your music volume. Show virtual controller. And these are also very important. If you have buttons and you want them labeled to do something, like for example, if you wanted your white button to look like that, you could do that. Um, gray, and these are just all the colors. Um, these are also the score visibility. So if you want it all, you could do that. If you don't want your scores being visible, these are per these are the persistence. We don't really be using much of that. And that's basically it, really. Um, so that's basically your full in-depth tutorial to Kodu and what everything does. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I can't believe you got the 44 subscribers. I came home today and I just looked at my subscriber count. We gained like 10. So thank you so much. And um, I'll probably be uploading another Minecraft video after this. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video or later today. Um, Bye.